So carbon as an element, it's always, I mean to say, chemistry of chemistry of carbon if you take carbon is it's always tetravalent it is made up of four covalent bonds to satisfy to satisfy the tetravalency tetravalency of carbon tetravalency of carbon in molecule is satisfied is satisfied by sharing sharing its uh, valence electrons valence electrons with the same or different atoms example if it is sharing with same atoms carbon if it is sharing with same atoms carbon valence electrons if it is sharing with the same atoms of the other carbon atom then also it is tetravalence is satisfied but you find that interlinking takes place that is some examples i would like to give you here if you take carbon and uh, if I take four covalent bonds like this, carbon is sharing with different atoms. So the four hydrogens are different from four carbon. So tetravalency is satisfied for the carbon. Similarly, this is CH4. We go for carbon tetrachloride, CCl4. Carbon is trying to share its four valence electrons with the valence electrons of chlorine. This is carbon tetrachloride. Carbon tetrachloride. Likewise, sometimes it shares with the different elements like carbon can share its valence electron with hydrogen, it can share its valence electron with chlorine, it can share its valence electron with bromine and can also share its valence electron with the, that is fluorine. This is chlorofluorocarbon, this is CH, CHBR, BRCl of uh, that is fluoro, bromochlorofluoromethane, bromochlorofluoro methane and so on. Sometimes the carbon to satisfy its tetravalency it forms single bonds or double bonds. Formation of formation of single double single double and uh, triple bonds. If you take a single bond carbon can form single bond between the two carbon atoms. Suppose if I take C2H6, it can form single bond between the two carbons. Ethane molecule C2H6, it can form single bonds between the two carbons. If you take ethylene or ethene C2H4, it forms double bond between the two carbons and single bond between the carbon and hydrogen. In carbon and hydrogen and uh, it can also form triple bond as I told you it can form a triple bond between the other elements like uh, you can take here you take HCN in HCN between hydrogen and carbon it can form single bond between carbon and nitrogen it can form a triple bond sometimes it can form double bond and single bond parallelly that is you can take CH3 CHO it is called acetaldehyde acetaldehyde so structure if you take with hydrogens it forms single bond and with carbon and oxygen it forms double bond and again with hydrogen it forms a double bond overall triple bond also can be expected between the two carbons that is acetylene C2H2 also you can expect a triple bond between the two carbons single bond between the two hydrogens all these molecules we are discussing as examples just to prove that the carbon is tetravalent in nature what is interesting is in every structure of the molecule whatever you are trying to see here for example if you take methane 
carbon is have carbon is tetravalent we are finding that the carbon is having four bonds 1 2 3 4 if you come here that is carbon tetrachloride again here you are finding that the carbon is having four covalent bonds so therefore it is tetravalent in nature you take any damp structure of the carbon compound you have four bonds surrounding the carbon proving that the carbon is always tetravalent you take ethane if you take individual carbon 1 2 3 4 bonds again the next carbon if you take 1 2 3 4 bonds you take ethylene or ethene again each carbon 1 2 3 4 again take the adjacent carbon 1 2 3 4 tetravalent you take any structure you take the carbon in hydrogen cyanide again the carbon is having three bonds on the right side and one single bond on the left side carbon is tetravalent you take acetaldehyde in carbon between three hydrogens tetravalent carbon and oxygen double bond carbon and hydrogen single bond any structure you take carbon is tetravalent so we are we have confirmed and we have proved that carbon is always tetravalent by looking at all these structures of various compounds of carbon